Although I'm not really a big fan of fantasy movies or TV series about Vikings, those were the kind of images I had in my head when I wrote this song. Dragon had decorated long ships sailing slowly in the cold wintry night. This song has some prog rock elements that has not been too common in my earlier work. I believe, I think it has to do with the fact that I have played a lot of prog rock stuff lately with Chris Thompson. We played at the night of the prog festival in Germany in 2016, where we did a lot of vintage prog stuff from you know, the Solar Fire and Roaring Silence albums by Manfred Mansworth. This is the first song I have written with Frank Hovland, who has produced most of my albums. Strange really, since we have worked together for so many years. I use a different tuning on my guitar, the strings are tuned G, G, D, G, A, D, low to high. Only one string different from the more usual dab dab tune. I've used it a lot over the years. This is the only true ballad on the album, except from Ruby Tuesday. It's not about dreams not coming true or anything like that, I just kind of like the title. It has a weird chord structure, it keeps changing from D minor to C sharp minor to C minor and back again. It was one of those songs that came very quickly. This acoustic guitar piece is inspired by songs like Spanish Fly by Eddie Van Halen and Midnight by Joe Satriani. I played with my left hand upside down, a technique I worked a lot with and I've used a lot on the album. It might seem like a gimmick, but it's not really. You can get very unusual note selections with this technique. The concept is not new, but I like to think that I found my own way of doing it. This is a tribute to the great Jimmy Page, who is a huge inspiration for me. Some people have commented that it doesn't really sound like Jimmy Page, which might be true, but then again, I think you can pay tribute to someone without slavishly copying that. For those of you who are not too familiar, too familiar with the uh, Zeppelin, they have a tribute song called Hats Off to Roy Harper. Roy in brackets. This is the second song co-written and sung by Frank Hovland. The opening riff is inspired by Richie Blackmore and it's a basic rock song for most of the part, but there's a quiet bit in the middle that stands in contrast to the rest of the song. I'm using an e for maximum sustain. I have always been a fan of the Rolling Stones. Hearing them for the first time when I was 12 years old made me want to pick up the guitar. I think Ruby Tuesday is one of the most beautiful songs ever written and well suited for chord melody style guitar playing. I can't help myself, I have to have a fast country tune on my albums. This is a 190 beats per minute and has no picked notes. For the whole song I'm using tapping techniques both normal and upside down. I've dedicated it to Chris Thompson who I have the privilege of playing with. This is a phrase he usually uses when introducing me in concert. Riff Referendum is one of the first songs I wrote for this album. I do two different solos on this one. 
wanted a bit of a classical flavor, and uh, the second one was some outside elements. It has a nice fade and a good way to finish off the record.